Hi there, Shelly has arrived. Hey, it's Shelly from Best Buy Canada's blog, and this past few weeks I've been testing out the Google Nest Hub Max. Google Nest Hub Max has a 10 inch touchscreen display. The main difference between the original Google Nest Hub and the Nest Hub Max is the obviously larger display. The original was 7 inches and the Google Nest Hub Max has a built-in camera. That camera does two things. It acts as a way for you to FaceTime or in Google's case you use Google Duo to video chat with your uh, friends and loved ones and it also doubles as a Nest camera for your home. The only thing that I had trouble with while filming this video was the uh, brightness of my kitchen lights on the screen. Just so you know though, in general, uh, no matter where you have this, if you have lights like I do where um, they're hanging directly overhead and your screen is tilting up, you may see a slight glare, but I really do believe it's amplified when you're recording um, the screen itself. So just, I know you can constantly see my lights in the background, but that is actually not the case when you have your own Google Nest Hub Max. To set up the Google Nest Hub Max, all you have to do is plug it in and it'll walk you through the prompts. If you already have a voice assistant like the Google Mini or the Google Home, all of your smart home devices will automatically show up on the Nest Hub as long as you're logged into your account. And there's so many different things that you can try right out of the box. This is the perfect display for controlling your smart home, obviously, but it's also great to have in your kitchen to uh, use while you're cooking. It's great to have in your living room to stream your Wi-Fi cameras to. If you're watching TV, you can cast things to your TV from your Nest Hub. There's just so many different options. I have the Google Nest Hub Max in charcoal. As you can see, the back of the unit is all speaker and there's also an on off switch so you can turn off the microphone and camera whenever you want to. Google Nest Hub Max has a far field microphone so it can actually hear you across the room. And one of the issues um, that I have when I have so many Google Minis in my house is that they all pick up at the same time because although I'll be talking to my kitchen display from 20 feet away and it will pick up, so will everybody else. You can adjust the volume on your display just by swiping up at the bottom of the screen but you can also adjust the volume on the side Here's a listen to what the speaker sounds like when playing music on the Google Nest Hub Max. Stream copyright free music on YouTube. Sure, check out this copyright free music station on YouTube Music. Just on its own, it's an amazing speaker that you can turn up the music for if you want to have um, music in any room in your house. It's the equivalent for me of many of the Bluetooth speakers that I already own and uh, it's actually when you really, really turn it up, which I didn't um, for the video, you'll notice um, there's no distortion. It's really clear. One of my favorite things to do with the Google Nest Hub Max is watch cooking videos. And as you can see here, it was teaching me how to knead dough. Step two, scrape out the dough. Using a plastic bowl scraper. You don't want to watch cooking videos. All you have to do is ask your Google to pull a recipe up on the screen and it will keep the recipe up there. So you don't need to have your phone in the kitchen um, and you don't need to dump flour on your phone the way that I always did. I also love how I can just ask my display uh, for a conversion because I do uh, bake a lot of bread and I use um, grams instead of cups. So if I'm confused as to what a conversion might be, I just ask my kitchen display and it'll pop up with the answer and the answer will stay there so I don't forget it immediately. Um, but it's really handy to use when cooking.
there's still more that the Google Nest Hub Max can do. It will take video calls thanks to that built-in camera and it's just so fun to have video calls on a display in your house. One of the coolest things about using video chat on the Google Nest Hub Max is how it has auto framing. So as I move around the kitchen, the camera keeps me in focus. So I can literally jump from side to side as I'm doing here and you can see that the camera follows me. Even if you crouch down, you will see that the camera will follow you and zoom in to keep you in the center of your conversation. It does take a second to catch up, but it's always there. Besides video chat, the built-in camera will also work as a Nest Cam if you'd like it to. Like all of the Nest Cams, the Nest Cam on the Google Hub Max will display uh, motion alerts. It will display whether or not it's a person or a sound that triggered the motion. You can have different settings that you can adjust on the um, camera itself. You can even disable the camera if you choose not to use it as a Nest Cam access the full features of the Nest Cam built into the Google Nest Hub Max, you'll have to sign up for Nest Aware. Nest Aware is a service, it's a cloud service that comes with Nest cameras. It's fairly inexpensive and uh, it's less expensive to continue to add cameras, so I'll definitely be doing that with this one. The main reason why I wanted the Google Nest Hub Max is to control all of my smart home devices. You have all of your smart home on a central screen in your kitchen or living room. It just makes your life so much easier. You don't have to pull out your phone to open a new app. You don't have to use multiple apps. Everything is right there. I love how I can stream my Nest Cam videos to the Google Nest Hub Max. I love how I can lock my doors. I have a Yale lock on the back door. I could lock my door that way. The only thing um, that I have that I haven't been able to add is obviously Ring devices. I have several Ring devices and I can't add them to the Hub yet. You can even adjust the color on your Hue lights if you have Hue lights like I do right within the screen. Google Nest Hub Max has facial recognition, so this display, because of that built-in camera, will recognize you and your voice, and it will automatically tailor everything on the display to you specifically. Hello, Shelly. I'm sorry, but I can't take your phone off silent from this device. Hue Color Light 2 isn't available. You might want to try setting it up again. It's 7.20 a.m. Right now, it's 8 degrees and cloudy. Have a nice day. Here's the latest news. From CNN News Briefing at 2.38 a.m. today. I've tested out the original Google Nest Hub and I love the Google Nest Hub Max. It, the larger screen makes a huge difference. It's almost the perfect size to really watch video. I mean, if I had a chair, I could pull up a chair in the kitchen and I could just watch things like a little TV. So it's pretty amazing. And I love how I can control all of my smart home devices on this screen. Having everything work on one screen really does simplify my life. And I really do think too that I will get more into the video chat and have my family call me more often because I'm generally hanging out in the kitchen. So I'm always around the display. If you'd like to read more about what I thought about the Google Nest Hub Max, you can visit Best Buy Canada's blog. I've got a full written review as well as other photos there. Thanks for watching.